All right, here's how you do fish the right way. Don't let restaurants fool you with their our food is good for you scam. All over the country, you see these pseudo Mexican-esque taco houses that like to sell fish tacos. And although they say they're healthy, I guess in comparison to a deep fried cheeseburger, perhaps, I found them to be too high in both sodium and carbs for my taste. Now, I was in one of these places with some friends not too long ago, and they were so excited for me to try the fish tacos because they love them so much. And I ate every bite to be polite, but I had to bite my tongue, figuratively, of course, to not slide the whole salty basket, tortilla chips, and all into the garbage, which is what I would have done if I were alone. If you want something that is both healthy and that you will enjoy, then here's the right way to do fish tacos. So, you're gonna need one and a half cups of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of fresh lime juice, a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro, a quarter cup of finely chopped mint, a quarter cup of finely chopped scallions, one tablespoon of ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons of paprika, an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, eight and a quarter pounds of Chilean sea bass fillets, cut half inch thick. Tilapia works great for this as well. I understand there's a lot of cities where you can't get sea bass very easily. Now you want half a jar of Anandbot Signature Salsa or any other organic brand. I understand the salsa is hard to get. You can get the Anandbot Signature Hot Sauce at a lot of retail locations, but uh, I don't know, for some reason, strict in salsa. But you also want one package of low-carb tortillas. So the fish. Combine all ingredients except the sea bass fillets and tortillas in a large pan. Add fish fillets, cover with plastic wrap, and refrigerate for as long as you have time. Overnight is great, but even 10 minutes is just fine. Now, grill the fish to your liking or, if you're like me, toss each filet into its own microwave-safe plastic bag and heat on high for four minutes, one at a time. Then dice the cooked fish. Place two tortillas on each plate. See, the thing with low-carb tortillas versus your normal corn tortillas, other than being low-carb, is you really don't have to steam them. Normally, if I were using regular tortillas, and if you are using regular tortillas, you're going to want to steam them or grill them to soften them up they're just gonna break. You don't really have to do that with low carb tortillas because they're made from some sort of low carb gum to begin with. So place two tortillas on each plate. Top with sea bass and salsa, fold and eat. Now alternative extra toppings. I also like to add fat free ranch dressing or some of the Asian broccoli slaw. Uh, that recipe's in the Rockstar recipe books and on the Celebrity Diet website or a little fat-free shredded mozzarella cheese to my tacos. Now this makes approximately eight servings, so invite your friends and have a party. All right, this next one. Tandoori tilapia. All right, now say it with me. Tandoori. I don't want to hear anybody after hearing this say tandoori. I never want to hear that word ever again. It's ridiculous, so please say it with me again. Tandoori. If you can't say th or th, tandoori is a little better, thandoori is a little better, like the word the, but you can say the word the, so say thandoori. Phew, you learned to say it right. You know, a person's mispronunciation of that word, along with the mispronunciation of the word namaste, I also never want to hear namaste, please don't ever say that to my face. That's right up there with the chai tea fiasco mentioned earlier in the morning tea section. Also, I should throw in it's lussy, not lassie, but we can get to that later. All right, so you're going to need four tilapia fillets. You're going to want a box of tandoori spice mix from the Indian store. Dried powder, not the paste. Two cups of fat-free plain yogurt. One teaspoon of turmeric. And a dash of Anandbot Signature hot sauce. Red, green, any one of the flavors will do, except for mango, it's kind of sweet. So in a bowl, mix your turmeric, 
yogurt, and spice mix. Stir well until all the yogurt changes color evenly. Then shake out a dash of the hot sauce and yell, pa-pow! You gotta do that or the hot sauce doesn't work. Yell, pa-pow! As it lands in the bowl. Then mix well. Now using your hands, you can wear plastic gloves if you like, work the newly made tandoori paste into the tilapia filet. Now make sure the filet gets a good coating. When done, place on a well-greased broiling pan. Do the same for each filet. If there is any remaining paste, top off each filet with it using a spoon. Now broil for 10 minutes on high or until done. Serve with a lime wedge.